Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how to create a melting text effect in Adobe Illustrator. If you're looking to get Adobe Illustrator, currently Adobe is having a promotion where you can get 60% off all Adobe applications if you're a student. I'm going to leave that in the description as well as a link to my Discord channel and Facebook group. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is add your text. So I'm going to be using a font called Lemon Regular. I'll link that in the description. When it comes to the fonts, you want something that is slightly slanted. You would ideally want something that is sort of thick and sort of round. The reason why you want it to be thick is because we're going to add these like water droplets, this melting effect. And if the font is thin, then the effect itself would be thicker than the font, which we don't want. So you can see here, this font is also sort of round. So it kind of fits with the melting effect. So once you've added your fonts, you can go ahead and highlight it. You can go to type and create outlines. Basically right now, this entire text is sort of grouped together. So we can't edit each individual letter. So by highlighting this all and creating an outline, basically now each of these will have individual points that we can adjust. So you can see here, if I uh, use the pen tool, for example, I can adjust each individual point like this. So there's two ways you can go about this. One is you can use the pen tool, the curvature tool, and you can basically just make points and create like a fake water droplet. So I'm going to do it right here where the R is because it's sort of hanging. So you can click on the path and you can sort of make it look like it's melting. Just a general tip, you want it to look like a water droplet. So the middle portion should be thicker than the bottom and top portion so you can see the width of this is um, greater than the width of this and the width of this so you could go ahead and do that but the problem with that is it might take too long so what you could do instead is you can use something called the warp tool you can hold and left click on um, this right here to show all the tools but um, you want to click at the warp tool initially it'll look like a circle but if you hold alt or option on Mac you're able to sort of adjust the size and the width of this. So you can make it a circle or oval. I'm gonna make it a small oval like this. And basically we can just use this to create the drips. So we would just drag this down and we just basically created what we did here, except this is a little bit less precise. But the great thing I like about this is you can just adjust the size and height and width so that it isn't the same for every single letter. I'd also recommend going in between letters like this and you don't necessarily have to add like these water particles everywhere. It might even look better if you just deform the letter a bit and manipulate the letters because if we're trying to replicate melting, the letters should not be in an original state. They should be sort of wonky and it shouldn't really keep its um, structure. So if we just go around and just adjust it just slightly, we can make it look a little bit cooler. So right there, we already added the effect. So this is basically the effect. If you wanted to sort of add onto it and you wanted the dripping to be a certain color, what you would do is make two different layers. When you first start, make one of them colored and do the same process to the colored layer. So just to give you a little bit of an example of how this would look like, I'm just gonna type this text again. And we're just gonna line it up. So if I made the dripping layer like a certain color, we would be able to sort of differentiate the dripping from the actual text. So if we made it like green or something like that and just place it over and line it up a little bit better than I did here, then you would be able to see it. The only problem with this is you would only be able to add the dripping and you wouldn't be able to really deform the text or else um, it'll look out of place. Like it wouldn't line up perfectly. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this very simple tutorial. There's many ways you could do this. I just prefer using the warp tool. So once again, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. I'm also going to leave the link to the Discord channel. If you guys want to meet other creators and talk to them, there's over 500 people in that Discord channel as well as my Facebook group. And yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.